Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to discuss Darkness of Dragons, the finale of Arc 2, and my honest thoughts on it, as well as what I would change to improve the book. Keep in mind that this video has some major spoilers for Darkness of Dragons, so if you haven't read that book then please click off the video. Also, please note that this video contains my opinions and you're allowed to have a different one than me. Though I don't despise this book or anything, I feel like it had the potential to be better, especially for being the finale of Arc 2. I'm pretty sure a majority of the fandom has agreed that Arc 2 is the fan favorite, and I loved every single other of the books, but I found myself a little disappointed in this one. No matter how much I may seem like I'm bashing Darkness of Dragons, I did actually enjoy it for what it was. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. First off, I would remove the whole Pricklin Palm story from the prologue. I honestly just think that that sub-storyline is kind of unnecessary and it doesn't serve anything important to the plot. I feel like the prologue being centered around Darkstalker having a bad feeling about the events that were coming to pass would have been a bit more interesting to read about than the story of two Sandwing sisters who weren't significant in the plot. Even just something else but another character would have been a lot more interesting to read about. Out of every being Sapphire villain, Vulture was by far my least favorite. He had the potential to be a spectacular villain with his position of power, yet we were left with a disappointing character who seemed like a filler antagonist. I would have loved for Vulture to be more intimidating for, and for there to actually be stakes with him, and a scene of him and his followers versus Thorn in the Scorpion Den would have been amazing to see unfold in the book. Thorn could have been close to losing against his brainwashed fighters, and it would have been pretty cool to see her desperately fighting and almost losing in the end. But instead, all we got was a stereotypical villain with zero personality or interesting motives who just got himself humiliated in the end. Another thing that I found myself disappointed by was the Icewing Plague. I know the story was centered around Keebly and the Sandwings, but come on. Why did Tui just overlook a literal plague that Darkstar created to wipe out the Icewings? It wasn't as significant as it should have been, and I really feel like the consequences weren't bad at all. You'd think that Snowfall and the other Icewings would have at least discussed it more, right? But just like how it was overlooked in Darkness of Dragons, it was overlooked there as well. Dark Darker should have been punished for this and hated even more by the Ice Wings, because Glacier's death should have been a big deal to them. I feel like we should have gotten a scene of Typhoon describing the emotional response from the Ice Wings when he delivered the earrings, because he saved countless lives, but all we got was just Keebly hearing about the earrings being delivered, and the remaining members of the tribe being saved. Next, I would make the prologue a lot shorter. I know Tui wanted to show what was happening to every character, but the prologue was incredibly lengthy and most of it wasn't needed. It should have just centered around Moon and Keebly going to Jeroboa the Third's hut and meeting Luna for the first time. Before they ended up traveling there, there could have been them discussing in conversation what was happening to everybody. The whole section on every main character really just made things a lot longer than they should have been, and I feel like it all wasn't needed. Things could have been discussed lightly and then left up for interpretation and shown in later books, such as The Dangerous Gift. As soon as you saw this video title, I bet a lot of you knew I would bring this up. Darkstalker shouldn't have become Peacemaker. I'm not alone in this opinion either. I feel like Darkstalker deserved to be punished for his actions, not just turned into a dragnet with no memories of his past life. For being the finale and end of a massive villain arc, it was pretty disappointing. There was no epic final battle against Darkstalker, and Magic just fixed everything with him. Tui could have come up with at least something else, or some kind of a loophole other than the sleeping Magic bracelet in Darkstalker Legends, to get rid of Darkstalker permanently. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said before, I did enjoy Darkness of Dragons for what it was. I especially enjoyed the finale scene with the Nightwings and Icewings, and how Moonwatcher projected their thoughts in each other's minds, and the scenes of Keebly and Thorn. But what did you guys think? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.